I'm fighting against Johnny Hendrick on October 3rd, UFC 192. I'm excited about that. I plan on coming out victorious. I'm just going to go out there and try to dominate. I never would have imagined as a kid watching people throw first pictures. I just thought that was something that celebrities would do and something that I would never do. So I'm excited about that. Also do not want to do what 50 Cent did and some other people who made it looking really bad. So what I'm trying to do is go out there and make sure I get it across the plate and all the way there in a pretty, pretty close straight line. Everybody's been texting me and asking me, have you practiced? Did you throw a baseball? If I try to throw hard, I'm not going to have control. Yeah. So therefore, I'm looking to take some stank off of it. Just to make sure it's straight. Straight down the middle. Retrain night tonight. And we are celebrating the East Ticket. Toughest thing always for me is really focus. You know, it's more of a mental war to me. You know, I've been, I've been through some tough stuff in life. I grew up in a rough area, and um, fighting is not really up, the thing that scares me, you know. This was a perfect opportunity, you know, big fight coming up, fighting Johnny Hendricks for what many, many think is the number one contendership spot. So um, just celebrating, you know, St. Louis. Look at your brother. And the Cardinals would like to welcome St. Louis' own standout athlete in the sport of mixed martial arts, Tyron, the chosen one, quickly. One of my coaches, uh, Kenny, he wanted to see my dog, so, yeah. During this stage, we kind of pull back on some of the ways we won't go as heavy, and we just try to get them to have better output through each round. So that's what we're doing today. Control and just metabolic conditioning, you know, so just pushing your heart more than anything, you know. The time for lifting heavy weights and stuff is over. Now it's just to get that good lung push, and he's doing great today, so. You know, right now, all I can think about is make 171, and then have fun. I mean, the train gets the hardest part. And the fighting's the easiest. This is only 15 minutes. You know what I mean? It's only 15 minutes. Hero, hero, booey. Well, at least one of us likes the ball. I sure as hell don't. Here. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> soccer practice. So not only do you fight, you also get to be a soccer coach, a cheer gatherer. <laughs> Go get it. Naomi, go, go get, get it. Kick it, it. Kick it out. Nice job. Turn around, Ella. Turn around. Keep Losing that belt was one of the best things that ever happened to me because I realized my family's never going to go. You know what I mean? My kids are going to love me no matter what. My wife's going to love me no matter what. That right there refocused what I want to do in life. Kick it. There you go. I want my kids to want to be great. I want my kids to want to be ahead of everybody else because I'm preparing them for life. If you fail, I'll be there to pick them back up. That's what my dad did. That's sort of the way that I, I want my kids to be. You know what I mean? I want them to be in the best they can be in anything and everything. Oh, I Good boy. What a nice day. I love to go look, I look around in New York, New England or something. Oh yeah, it's so good. Go to Long Island, go to that. Welcome to MMA Noise. I'm your host, Mike Straka, sitting alongside the mauler, Alexander Gustafson. Welcome. Thank you. What would it mean to you to bring that belt back, back home? It won't mean everything to me. That's, you know, it's, it's a highlight in my career. It's what I've been working for so hard. So it's a goal I have. So it will mean that it will mean that I reach one of my goals. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the UFC 192 media conference call. UFC 192 takes place Saturday, October 3rd, from Toyota Center in Houston. Let's go ahead and open it up to the first question. At the uh, the Go Big uh, press conference, did you get the sense that Daniel uh, was mocking you at all? Well, no, I don't. I, I really didn't pay attention that much about what he was saying in the in the in the press conference. But uh, you know, in one way. <clears throat> 
That's well, a I, lie, Alex. Well, Alex, that's <laughs> Alex, that's well, a lie. Well, it's that's not, my lie. friend. It's Alex not. Alex, Alex, <laughs> Alex, I actually didn't pay attention, my friend. Because it, took, because it took him a week to make a response. If he didn't pay attention, he would not have had... Well, I, I barely understand response. English, so... <laughs> He knew exactly what I was saying. And I barely don't, speak don't English, my friend. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. But honestly, honestly, I have my mission in front of me. I'm going to fight Daniel right now. And other than that, no, I didn't hear what he was saying. So, Alex, just tell him. Just tell him, Alex. Your greatest performance was not a loss. Yeah, yeah, of course. But my biggest accomplishment is going to be 3rd of October, my friend. That's that's going to be my, my biggest accomplishment. Well, that, Alex, that ain't happening. Let's not, <laughs> let's not sit over here and pretend. Let's not sit over here and pretend. Thank you all. Have a great day. <laughs> all the boys from the team, they love, love this place right here. The burger bar. Five burgers for six ninety nine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> These dudes be killing the burger they, bar. Why do they make the burgers? Now? I have no idea, man. <laughs> you can convince yourself anything tastes good. It's six ninety nine. If for it's five. six dollars for five hamburgers, <laughs> you can get full. All right. All right, Feels good to have the belt. You know what I mean? Obviously, you work a long time and you work hard to accomplish that. Once you get it done, you want to hold on to it. So just take your shots when you. Yeah, when you want, just take the shot. It does feel good knowing that I get to go out there and be called the, the UFC champion with, with an opportunity to defend that and stay uh, the UFC champion. There you go. Gus is a tough guy, you know, he's long, rangy, very good boxing, very good footwork. He'll be there as long as, as, as I allow him to be. You know, I got, if I'm going to finish this guy, I've really got to put it on him. I do believe he's a great fighter, but I don't think he can beat me. You know, that's just that's just how I feel going into this competition. I feel that I'm a better fighter, I'm a better competitor, uh, and just a better mixed martial artist. Um, and next Saturday we get to prove that. You watched the whole training, huh? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. You think I'm ready to go? Yeah. That's my guy. I think you're going to knock out Alexander Gustafson. I want to. No, you will. Okay. See that? You hear it? My man right here said I'm going to knock him off. 